Okay, this is the console here of the Chevy Volt. Here with Mike and let's see, this is a video of the how it's charging, I guess, or it's running off battery because we stopped here in Michigan and Washington. You see all the people. When we start up, you'll see the actual engine kicks in to power the generator for the electric engine. Okay. And then when I take my foot off the gas, the battery will recharge itself from the coasting and the braking. Ah, uh, okay. And when there's enough of a charge in the battery, the engine will run off the battery power until that's gone and then the engine kicks in and the engine only powers the generator for the battery. Okay. So it's not actually pushing the wheels, it's just generating energy for the battery, which is, allows it to go very quiet. So there's no gas engine in this? There is, there is a gas engine. There is a gas engine. Okay. But that engine runs a generator that generates uh, electricity to run the electric engine. Okay, so it's not like it kicks over to the gas engine. Right, it's not a dual engine system. Okay. How long have you had this? A uh, day and a half. I've okay. gone 96.2 miles and I've used 2.7 gallons of gas for a 34.7 MPG. Wow. Pretty good, and that's all been city driving. That yeah, is pretty good for city driving. Yeah, okay. so you see, now I'm coasting and it's getting energy back. Now I'm braking, it's getting energy back. And when I can uh -huh. do a complete stop, it'll stop. Cool. So how does it uh, how does it feel for you? Uh, besides being a little small for my body, <laughs> the car runs great. Powerful, picks up great, handles very well. Very impressed with the way it. It drives. Just wish there was a little more space in the leg, in the compartment for my legs. Great acceleration. We're already up to 30 miles an hour. On Michigan Avenue. And now I'm coasting. Foots off the gas, and we're regenerating power back to the battery. I'm gonna brake because the city in front of me doesn't know how to use one lane. just keeps flipping back and forth between this really as you drive exactly right now it's my foot's off the gas we're just coasting down the street it's regenerating power pretty smooth ride yeah if i avoid potholes well you're in chicago it's very hard to do that this is a good point so and now as i come around the corner i'll hit the gas mm -hmm. and you see it's actually using battery power because there's a little bit of a battery charge left mm -hmm. And you'll see the engine pop on right there okay. when that battery power is gone. And that's basically generating power for the electric engine. And there's the little engine generating power for the electric engine. And you said that you can charge this through a standard wall outlet as well as um, those charging stations. Correct. There's a plug in the trunk that pulls out and you can plug it into any 120 volt or 110 volt rather. Hmm. And it takes about 10 hours to fully charge the battery. Uh, the charging stations, the level two charging stations, they have at Whole Foods, at a lot of parking garages, okay. at some Walgreens. Those take about three hours. Oh, wow. And they charge you $2 an hour to use it, which is fairly reasonable. And they also have a level three charging station. I don't know where those would be found, but it takes about half an hour to charge the battery completely. Wow. And the battery lasts about 35, 36 miles. So it's not a long charge. No but it's got a nine gallon gas tank that'll last about 340 miles. Okay. So fairly efficient. Like I said, I'm getting almost 35 miles per gallon. Have you had this fully charged yet? Uh, no, when I got it, the battery was like on its last cell and a half. Okay. And obviously I went a little more than, that was about 10 miles worth, I think. Mm -hmm. And then I charged it for about an hour and 50 minutes at Whole Foods the other day while I got lunch. And that gave me again about, I think, 12, 15 miles of a charge. Hmm. And how long you got the car for? Until uh, tomorrow night or uh -huh. tomorrow afternoon sometime. Neat. Yeah, it's a fun little car. So this is the Chevy Volt. Mike and Mike behind the dash. Uh, seems like a nice little car from the outside. Kind of looks like a Prius, but inside. Um, I mean, in the passenger well, it's got a little more room here. Um, I get the seat back a little further. And, uh, yeah, there's a power button. Here's a dash. 
drive around the mean streets of Chicago with the Volt.